If you're in a state or a district with a close political race, chances are you're going to see a lot of negative ads. The key for candidates is to respond as quickly as possible before those ads can change the voters' minds. In one of the most pivotal races in the nation, Tennessee Democrat Harold Ford is finally fighting back after a series of ads attacking his credibility and character. Check these out. I'm Harold Ford Jr., and now they've attacked my faith. Said I'm for gay marriage when I voted against it. For giving schoolgirls abortion pills. All of it lies. Here's what I believe in God, in you, and a new direction. And Jamal Simmons is a Democratic strategist, and from the other side of the political spectrum, Carrie Lucas, Vice President for the Independent Women's Forum. And welcome to you both. Thank you. Thank you. So, Jamal, I'll begin with you. You think this response is going to repair the damage from the GOP ads this week? I mean, Tennessee is pretty close to a must have if the Democrats want to win the Senate. Uh, I think this ad will do a great job in terms of uh, speaking directly to the voters for Senator for Harold Ford. I'm going to speak a little prophetically here, Senator Ford. Um, but I think uh, what happened before with this ad that, uh, with the woman and them trying to infer all sorts of uh, uh, sexual innuendo between Harold Ford and a, and a white woman. Any person who was concerned about that ad or would be moved by that ad probably wouldn't have voted for Harold Ford anyway. Um, this ad didn't reveal that Harold Ford was an African American. It revealed a lot more about the Republican Party and its ability, desire to use the same old tired tactics of using race to scare people uh, more than bring people together. You know, I'm curious about this, Kerry, because these GOP ads against Ford, they were pretty tough. The now infamous Playboy ad and then its replacement ad that was claiming Ford wanted to give abortion pills to schoolgirls. Do you think ads like this cross the line? And I'm not talking about a morality stand here. I'm talking about crossing the line in the minds of voters. You know, I, I do think that a lot of negative ads have the potential to turn off those who are going to vote for your candidate. So candidates um, take a real risk when they run negative um, negative ads. And I do think that some of the, the Ford's ads haven't been, um, I don't think they've been as effective as they could be in really bringing out the issues and motivating uh, GOP voters to get to the polls. You, uh, um, Congressman Ford is, a, is an appealing character, um, but I think that well, the real message that the GOP needs to get out there is that a vote for Harold Ford isn't just a vote for, for um, Mr. Ford to be a senator. It's a vote for the Democrats to be in leadership, and I think mm. that's the thing the Tennessee voters aren't going to be comfortable with at the end of the day. Okay, okay, Kerry. Well, well, I don't know. I don't know about that. I think what it's a vote for is it's a vote for education. It's a vote to, for a new direction in Iraq. And I think that is what Tennessee voters want, and they're going to have to have, face a choice. They want more of the same protection of child predators and all that stuff that's going on in Washington and Congress, or they want to actually fix the problems. All right, guys, listen, I want to get this back to the ads. And, Carrie, there's this new Rick Santorum ad in the Pennsylvania Senate race. It's getting a lot of attention. Here's what it features. Kim Jong-il, Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, and Democrat Bob Casey. Here's a clip. Let's check it out. I'm Rick Santorum, and I approve this message. North Korea, close to a nuclear missile to reach America. Yet Casey opposes deploying a missile defense system now. Iran, also close. Yet Casey opposes creating the bunker-busting bombs that may be needed to stop them. China, drilling oil just 50 miles off our coast. Yet Casey opposes us doing the same, putting our energy at risk. Terrorists trying to enter our country. Yet Casey comes out for amnesty for illegals. We just can't take a chance on Bob Casey. Look, I want to ask both of you on the heels of this one. Do you think ads like this are a legitimate way to raise points about national security? Carrie, I'll let you begin. Yeah, you know, I think I think that it, this is certainly a hard-hitting ad, and some of the visuals go go pretty far. But I do think that this brings up an important point, and one that the GOP needs to drive home. There are real differences with, between Democrats and Republicans when it comes to how they're going to approach the war on terror. The Democrats, in general, have been against the Patriot Act and have been against a lot of measures that we're using to to combat terrorists. So I think that this is a, an important um, an important point for Republicans to bring up. Oh, okay, Jamal, last word for you. Sure, the Democrats, there is a difference. The Democrats want to uh, go after Osama bin Laden and the terrorists that attacked us. George Bush wants to go and stay in Iraq where people are dying and we don't really understand why they're there anymore. Uh, it's the only case in history where a, a country is fighting a, in a civil war against both sides. It would be like the French being in the United States during the Civil War fighting the Union and the Confederacy. It doesn't right. make any sense whatsoever. Okay. Jamal Simmons, Kerry Lucas, thank you so much for that. I want to let all of you know, too, at 1 o'clock uh, Eastern Time, my colleague Rita Cosby is going to be interviewing Pennsylvania Senate.